Right, on this video let's change out the front sight on the Walther CP88 competition from the standard plain one to one with a spot on it, a 3D printed one. I've already done the back one, as you can see. I'm not going to insult anybody's intelligence on how to do the back one. Just unscrew the little grub screw. I'm insulting your intelligence, I do apologise. Anyway, just unscrew the grub screw that you would use for, uh, for zeroing, shifting it side to side. Unscrew it all the way, pop the uh, old one out to one side, pop the new one in, tighten up the grub screw. Uh, it's a bit more difficult on the front, in fact, it's a bit of a faff. Using the Allen key, handily um, supplied with your gun, slide it in through here and locate it into the Allen key. Undo the Allen key. Allen key. Socket head bolt, boy. Get your engineering terms right, my god. Okay. And... Off comes the complete front assembly. Two screws. Undo them. I have pretty loosened this, by the way. Excuse the heavy breathing, hay fever's really getting to me today. Okay. And this, oh, we need to undo them a little bit more. They're quite short screws. So I'm surprised by that, but anyway, never mind. Okay, it opens up into two halves. One half contains the sight. I hope there's the right lighting. It just kind of wiggles out. There we go. And being an amateur, I haven't actually put the new one handy. I will grab it. There we go. Here's the new one. Not the camera again. There we go. With its little spot, which is pink. It's pink. Yep. Let's not get hung up about the fact that it's pink. Okay. Pop it in. Uh, see that little bolt there? The little uh, bolt. Little machine screw there, socket head machine screw. Being technical. Make sure it's in place when you clap the two parts together. And that little washer there, it's there on my... What is my camera doing? Okay. The little washer needs to be that side. Pop the two halves together. There you go. Get the screw started. Now these are steel screws. Quite thin diameter screws. Steel machine screws going into aluminium and a very small diameter. Don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip out this part, that's for sure. There we go. And we can soldier them. I hope. And looking nice. Just before you do this final tighten, just make sure you're happy with the alignment of that front side. I'm quite happy with it. No, we can't soldier them. Oh, what a pain. Oh, that's hideous. Mm, I have to live with that. Never mind. Right, anyway, pop her back into place, like so. Using the, uh, oh, let's do that in shot, pop her back into place, like so. That was uh, my finger on the wood. I didn't have beans last night. Oh, this is fiddly. Come on, get in there. So now we have the deep joy of high vis spots. Well, kind of high vis. I got to admit, I was skeptical. It actually works pretty well. I'm quite impressed. So there we go. I hope that helps someone. I couldn't find a video about this on YouTube. 
ended up finding one video a guy reassembling it so i thought right okay that was very helpful thought i'd make this video hope it helps someone out there we go peace thanks bye bye